Welcome. Let's discuss some important cutting edge nutrition and biochemistry. We'll keep it very simplistic. Let's start with vitamin D. Vitamin D is our sunshine vitamin that really boosts our immune system and has so many other metabolic functions. Now, in order to get calcium into our bone, vitamin D must be present. Therefore, without enough vitamin D, we can become osteoporotic. When we start losing calcium within the bones, that can become too brittle and that can cause problems in itself. Although when people talk about vitamin D, they like to take vitamin K2 along with vitamin D to prevent calcium from going into the soft tissue. If it's kidneys or even arteries, too much calcium in our arteries along with high triglycerides and cholesterol can lead to that placking of those arteries, which can eventually block blood supply to the heart called the heart attack or the brain called a stroke. And I'm not a big believer that we have to supplement calcium because we get that from many of our foods, our fortified foods, our dairies, our cheeses. We get that from our fatty fishes as well as our green leafy vegetables. So we always will have enough calcium. The problem is, is where is it going? So let me tell you about magnesium. And over the many decades, magnesium is now hitting the fan because of the fact that magnesium needs to be present in order to make vitamin D bioavailable. And without magnesium present, vitamin D is stored in the body and not used. The body depends on magnesium to convert vitamin D into its active form within the body. And what we need to know is that it's magnesium that's necessary to be available in order for calcium to get into the bones. It's magnesium that's necessary that prevents calcium from being absorbed into our soft tissue. Magnesium is needed for more than 300 biochemical reactions in the body. It boosts exercise performance, it fights depression, it benefits type two diabetes, it helps insulin sensitivity, it has amazing anti-inflammatory benefits, it improves PMS symptoms, and our rich sources of magnesium are greens, nuts, seeds, dry beans, whole grains, wheat germ, oat bran, as the recommended daily allowance for female is 320 milligrams and males 420 milligrams. It's important to understand that magnesium plays a significant role with our metabolism as well as our hormones. This has an effect on glucose and insulin. It has an effect on triglycerides and cholesterol. It has an effect on so many different biochemical functions. It will keep your bones strong, it will prevent and help that placking within the arteries. Make sure you're getting your magnesium. So remember your vitamin D as well as your calcium and phosphorus and many other minerals in your body are all dependent on magnesium. Please share this with your friends and family. Leave your comments below because there will be many and most important, make it a great day. I'm Dr. Alan Mandel.